All right, let's begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, we thank you for this Easter season where we re are reminded that you have defeated sin and death, and that we are called to rejoice in your love for us. We ask you to pour out your spirit upon this conversation so we can do this video in one take through Christ our Lord, amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. amen. All right, Michelle Brock. Um, I am with Michelle Brock, and she is um, connected several ways to the Newman Catholic Student Center. She's on our board, and she graduated from Iowa and has experience of her own of being a student at the Newman Center. So we were talking earlier today about the iconic uh, experiences of a Hawkeye, and then maybe not so iconic, but the, exp the shared experience of students at the Newman Center. So we are at the airliner today, and that's what brought this topic up because everyone has to go for dollar slices at the airliner if you're a student at the University of Iowa. But uh, Michelle, tell us a little bit more about yourself and maybe answer that question of other experiences that everyone should, ex you know, as a Hawkeye, and then move into the, the Newman Center and your experience uh, of how you got involved and what it means to you now as a board member. Sure. All right. Well, um, I graduated undergrad from Iowa in 1996, um, and that's when I was on campus. Also got my MBA here in 2006, but that was an off-campus um, experience. So, yes, I think the airliner, very <laughs> iconic. Everybody who goes to school here or visits Iowa City should should visit here for the great pizza. Um, so that would be one of my top, top um, suggestions is just to learn the culture and the, enjoy the different um, restaurants and experiences and nightlife that we have here in Iowa City. Um, athletics, I mean, that's a given, given the, what just happened this past season. And uh, I loved going to athletic events, football in particular for me. Um, that was one of the, that was on my list of why, what college I'd go to. It had to have a football team that was exciting to attend. So yeah. um, love loved going to Hawkeye football games. Um, and then I think just the campus. Um, one of the things when people talk about Iowa and whether or not they go to Iowa is it's such a big campus. And for me, it I think I was always pretty much on the east side of campus for my the major I had. Um, and it was super easy to go over to the other side of campus on a campus to explore that side if I had to or for athletic events. So to me, it never felt big, um, like some people say, because it was easy to, to get around and um, the classes were pretty concentrated um, where they needed to be. But it's a beautiful campus. I mean, the Pentecrest were... We're right across the street from Pentecost. So I would say you got to explore the buildings, explore the campus, all it has to offer. I mean, you know, Hampshire, the, the arts there too. It's all wonderful. So those would be my, my, my three things. I will add one. Everyone should have uh, the experience of seeing Rusty the Sloth. Did you see oh, Rusty? Oh, at the history. Yes. Yeah, natural history. Yes. One of my yes. favorite things. Yes. So. so I would include that in like learning all the buildings yes. and what yes. they have to offer. Um, it definitely. Yeah. Thank all you right. For so, that out. yes. yes. So. Uh, I'm a big Rusty fan. <laughs> Back when I was in school, they used to dress Rusty up for all the holidays. They don't do that anymore. No, they don't. But, uh, all right. So, Newman Center. Yes. How did you get involved? So, Newman Center, I mean, I when I came here, I wanted to find a place to uh, practice my faith. I can't say I was perfect still. You know, we all are on a journey, right? Um, and so, we go to the Newman Center uh, for Mass, and it was pretty much, you know, that was the only time I would go to the Newman Center was just to, to do that Sunday obligation. And then um, for some reason, at one point, um, decided to go on a retreat. And it was called Antioch, Antioch at that time. And met a lot of great people, built a lot of connections and relationships and friendships. And um, I still can you know, see, see some of the experiences we did on that retreat and grew obviously deeper in my relationship with God and in my faith. And after that, I was invited and got um, more involved in the Newman Center, became a Eucharistic minister. Um, and eventually my my husband, who wasn't Catholic at the time, he started going to mass um, with me when he when he was in town. He graduated a few years ahead of me from Iowa. And so when he came back, we would, we'd go there. And um, so he started embracing it a little more. And um, long story short, after we were married, he converted um, like that, that same year. So I'm sure Newman played a little part on that um, as well. Yeah, excellent. Um, we are coming up on November, or, uh, April 20th is uh, Newman Night Out. It's a fundraiser where we raise about 10% of what we need to keep all the student activities and everything running. Uh, it's sold out. I wish I could invite you all, but if you're not already part of it, uh, we will invite you to next year. 
But we do have a pretty uh, challenging goal of 92, 92, is that right? $92,000 to raise uh, in that evening. And so I would invite you to consider uh, giving a gift to the Newman Center so that we can continue uh, to make disciples for the church and the world. So uh, pray for us for that success. And, uh, and again, in the season of Easter, make sure you get to Mass and praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a great day.